Hi, good morning, Pavani. Hi, Louis. Good morning, good evening. We'll start in about one minute. Okay, so let us start with the session. Just give a small intro of me. I am Aishwarya Darba. I am a certified Zentangle teacher. I live in Pune and uh, these are Heart Eyes Zen sessions. So we'll be discovering uh, the already existing tangle patterns and we'll try to add, incorporate little hearts into our drawings. So this is going to be a very meditative class. Uh, each class will be for both beginners and the intermediates. So anybody can join. All the instructions will be given at a slow pace. And you can just take your time, relax and uh, follow along the process. So there will be a lot of repeated lines, patterns. So you can, if you have missed something, you can even follow it later. So after this session, I'll try to put a uh, replays so you can watch that as well. And uh, so let us start with today's session. So for today's class, I'll be using my micro over pen and uh, I'll be using my 2B pencil. And this is a tortillon and uh, I might be using even Micron 8. Okay, anything with thicker nib. So if you have a micron brush pen, so that is also fine. So we can use either of it. So I would like to have a very sharp pencil to start with. And use my pencil a bit sideways. Just simply create a heart. Okay. I'll be creating somewhat a larger heart shape, say about two or three on the round tile. So if you're using a square tile or a smaller shape, um, try to see that you can fill with the heart, how many ever shapes of heart you want. Hi Shalini, thank you for joining. We just started. So now we'll take our micron oven pen and I want you to draw hearts, uh, quite bigger ones, but not too big. So I'll just show you how it is. Okay. Say about this size. I think I'll keep a pen. So yeah, it's almost like a half cap. Yeah. 
half of the scan size so that will be good half inch or little bit more than that so I want you to fill hearts within this heart space just go about slowly trying to complete from stroke to stroke If you have not used your hand muscles so this is just a wonderful way to start your day Let me do this over here as well. Just go about in different direction. So after we have created certain number of large hearts, let us now create a few small ones. You might just imagine one heart going the other way. So if you have half heart shaped, that is also fine. So now what I do is I create an aura of heart within this but I'll be joining it in the center. You can see 
I'll trace the already line and then create. So this helps in just darkening the portion of the downside. You can create the same tracing and then go about and bring it up. Once again with the same tracing, then slowly touch the point. So this is like one continuous line. larger portion of the hearts and for now we will leave the smaller ones as it is I am tempted to call this tangle as Kroon. <laughs> it's been uh, very much inspired by Kroon, by Margaret Bremner. She's a wonderful artist. I like, wow. I'm amazed at her creativity. So, in the next step, what I do is, I try to join the lines, okay? So, I'm going to create short lines or closer lines like this. Just a simple exercise of line drawing, very meditative, relaxing. Whenever I see this tangle pattern, I remember those uh, cake molds that we have 
no cupcake molds looks almost like that such a nice effect relax take a deep breath just feel the paper and the pen just gliding from one end to the other always see to that you join ends from this to the other end without stopping or lifting your pen It gives a very nice finished look. Don't hurry this process. Just be in the same momentum. So now what I do is these small ones I just create some different kind of lines so this goes like a semi circle or just some bended or us so this gives a bit of variety Then in the center, I'll just darken it. Just 
very carefully. If you have some one or two orders, that's also fine. So now, what I do is, I'll create auras for both larger and smaller portions. Um, I'm just going to randomly create uh, auras. So I probably I'll just cluster these two or three together. So you can watch me. We'll create different kind of clusters of aura. Okay. This is going to be my first cluster. Here I go about for my second one. Just that whichever whatever comes in the way, just taking it. Once again, I use my pen and I'll create auras for these three clusters. Just go about slowly, take your random decision. Okay. Probably this whole thing I'll take as one cluster. see whichever is the nearest one can be included you see in the next step 
how this actually helps us nicely binds together oh, I think I I already did one okay, okay I just send it here So now in between whatever space you have you can create some kind of blocks or triangles or some space you can even create some rounds So now I'll take my 08 pen or you can use your 03 anything that has a thicker nib. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill the outer space of this area with complete black and I'll just go along with that pencil itself. Okay, so I can see a slight bit of pencil. So first we'll do the outer part and then slowly we'll tackle the inner one. Nice thick and black this. Just keep filling in. Remember all the paints that we have used in our kit? It's almost like that. I remember in my childhood I used to love painting and filling with sketch pens. So easy. <laughs> Quicker than even the wax crayons or any kind of color pencils. So filling ink is a very fun exercise. Just that we're going to methodically paint, fill, and uh, create this beauty. So now I'll try to put some of the ink in the center, leaving that white space as it is. about here and there I 
I want those small hearts to be seen. So I just carefully place my ink. For this you can use your smaller O1 pen as well. So if that is easy. I think I'll just create a shape over here. Now I'll tackle this one. It really doesn't matter if you have two auras or three auras. It's just going to bind all together. Be patient, relax. Keep smiling as you draw. leave little tiny dots of white in case you have too much of black you lost the white no problem you can go with your gel pen uh, later on after it dries and uh, create those white space Shape this a bit. Just taking the outside one. Hi Niti. Thank you Shalini. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a tangle called Asian Fans. So it starts like a wavy line. It has all the highs and lows of the sea wave okay so i'm gonna leave a little bit of space and just completely do the same thing again starting from my lows then high go again about the same way
that is it okay and I create another one over here so you can create as many as possible depends upon your shape and uh, space of the tile just keep your hand gentle Maybe I'll give a little bit over here. I leave a lot of gap. And then I do something here. So I'll just draw. So these are bands of waves. So now what I do is I take time and aura this one, the top and the bottom one. Just keep your hands gentle, easy, breathe, relax. I'm going to do this for the same, the smaller one, the tiny little. So now what we do is we create this portion as a V shape okay we leave a bit of gap and create so wherever there is a bump high we start from there and reach the top okay so let us do that so I have this bump low I won't do here Okay, and this is a bit hidden. So let me do here once again. Yeah. We have a bump high here and here. Okay. So we'll just write a V shape giving a bit of distance. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to turn my tile and this time, I'm going to do the V shape wherever the pumps are high. So it's the same practice, but we're going to do it changing the position of the tile, just helps out.
actually I should have not taken this band instead I should have taken this band I wanted to keep a space in between but that has not happened so let us just go along with it let's see what's going to come out we're just going to trust maybe I'll just leave it here let me see what exactly I can do Thank you Nithi. So now what we do is we'll add hearts within the shape. So I'm going to trace this line and create that heart shape. Okay. So each time on that V I'm going to start trace it and then bring it down. Just slowly go about the same shape, fun. Just remember. I think I can create a small heart here. Just go one pace at the time. Don't try to see the larger portions. Just pay attention to these smaller portions and give some love. Okay. So I'm going to turn my tile, but for your convenience, I won't turn. So you can turn your tile, I just trace it the downward. So if you find it convenient this way, you can do that as well. If you feel rotating your tile is easy, please do that. Just go about in a slow space. Don't try to hurry. I will fill this space with lines just wherever there is an intersection point I just fill it with line you can create horizontal vertical as you wish
Just drag a slow breeze. You can complete your tie. So if you're here, now what we're going to do is we're going to create auras, the outer auras on both sides. Just lines going this way and that way. So you can see I'm just creating auras as I go by. Just take one stroke at a time. So now what I want you to just create some black dots, a thick nice one, you can use your O1 pen or maybe you can use your O8 pen wherever there is a space outside, just randomly create those dots or button like shape leaving some space Just fun, isn't it? Maybe I can go about one heart here.
so you can have heart over here so you see I just keep thinking and just go along as it is coming to me so there are no absolutely any rules yet the set of rules says that just go one stroke at a time following that method and just keeping our creativity on So now we take our pencil and we'll shade the larger heart portion. So what I want to do is I want to create shading all around this heart, keeping the center as white or plain. Slightly a bit. all over the place let me do this for the style as well I mean for the small heart space as well don't have to press too hard just that slight allow that the fight to come out this is where that sharp pointy pencil helps okay thereafter what I want to do is I want to shade the inner portion of this tangle Just go very close to the line Initially, do the top one, and 
I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Now, you can take your tortilla on. So instead of doing the center one first, I want to do these wavy shapes, the Asian fans. And then I'll slowly go about with the center one. So whatever shade that I have, I'm just using it for the pillow. So now I wanna use my tortillon and smoothen this section. that with a smaller heart okay. so after all the shading is done I just want to do some touch ups so I may be creating a few lines of shapes in the within the heart okay so what happens is I'm just allowing the black to show very well and prominent so it doesn't get hidden with the shading so this is an optional if you want you can do that or else you can leave it allowing the lines to meet at a point
may enjoy this kind of drama or lines. Thank you, Shalini, for joining. So that is it for today's session. Just sign in my, with my name. And on the back side, I would like to write the tangles that I used. the day four of parties and series. So thank you so much for joining in today. I hope to see all your artworks following the session and let me know if you have enjoyed the session. Um, please do comment, give me some feedback or anything that you want me to to add or you want me to do, I'll try to do that in another, in the coming sessions. So I'm so grateful and uh, see you tomorrow again at 10 a.m. Bye-bye.